Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about a strange thing which happens in a real world case and solutions in Power BI. It's about the week number. As we are at the end of the year or beginning of the year. So the week which you are working right now is either 53 or the first week. If 53 comes in 2020 and the first week comes in 2021. So the week also split Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in December, Friday, Saturday and Sunday in January. In January. So while we are looking at the weekly report, the result is not correct what we are expecting. So we need to decide whether it has to come in week 53 or it has to go in week one. In order to do that, it is not possible just by using the week number function in Power BI. So we had to use some other logical workarounds in order to work that way. So stay tuned for that. We'll make this in this video. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So basically, I have the fact transaction sales daily, the sales amount, and now we want to make a weekly requirement. So how much we have sold on every week. So what I have done here, this is the fact table where I have this daily transaction dates and then the sales amount. Now the requirement is we need to get results of weekly how much we have made the sales. In order to do that, I just added a weekday column here. As you can see the DAX here, it's weekday variable I've declared here, the weekday number, and it is the weekday of the sales transaction date. It will just come in one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. But here in the week date, I have these two options here to choose whether it has this is starting from Sunday to Saturday or it is starting from Monday to Sunday. As we are in India, it starts from Monday to Sunday. So I have chosen two here. After returning that, I'm just using the switch function for this one. This value is one, return one, Monday, two is Tuesday, three is Wednesday, four is Thursday, five is Friday, six is Saturday, or else Sunday. So that's it. So I got this weekday number. It is just for me to understand which day it is of that particular week. After that, what I've done here is calendar week. I made a new column here. It is just a simple tax function, week num, and then the transaction rate. And here also we have an option to make a note here, week begins on Sunday, or week begins on Monday. I am just taking week begins on Monday. So it is two. After committing that, it will return all the week numbers here. Now, here as you can go down here, if you look at this value, the week 53, of December 2019 for an example, it is Monday and Tuesday comes in week 53 and then the rest of the five days comes in 2020, that is week one. Now, if you look at the requirement here, let's go to this visuals, I made the sales here, the week calendar week and then the number of sales. So as you can see here, it is showing it week 53 as well. So sometimes it will get confusion for the people, for the end users, to make a decision out of it because this week is split in two weeks, 53 and one. So the data may not be in a correct format. So you can't able to justify the result out of it. So in order to do that, either we have to bring it in week one or week 53. Here in this video, week 53 is not sensible because usually when we talk about the weeks, we have 52 weeks in a year. So I will bring all this value in week one. Whatever we have in week 53, I'm just bringing this in week one itself. In order to work that, there's a small calculation here. This is the final week column I have done here. It is just if the fact sales of the current week, that is this column is equal to week 53, then give me one or else just give me the return whatever it has. So by applying this small logic, so it gives me all the values here, week 52. When it comes to week 53, it is giving the value of one. So now I have the seven days in week one. As you can go back here to the visuals and list the values by week. There is no week 53 here, 
because it has added in week one itself. As you can see here, this is for the week 2020, week one. So this much of sales here. So if you add this one, 146 and 254, it will come around 400. So at the end, the total value is the same between these two. Now, by looking at this figure, it makes sense that this much of sales we have done on that particular week. The week one is consists of end days of the December as well as the starting days of the January. This is a really cool thing, right? So I thought to make a video about it, how you can bring week 53 in week one or week one in week 53. If you want to do that, you can just reverse the calculation. If it is one, then make it to 53. Mostly nobody will do that. So that only I brought up 53 in week one itself. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. And also if you're not a member of our channel, please hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.